Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, the Gun Nut. Um, happy Memorial Day. It's Memorial, Memorial Day review time, so I um, want to take a quick side note, just stop for a second, and um, just remember those that died for us, you know, so we can be here today and do what we do um, here, like a perfect example, like this. Um, just remember those that gave everything, I mean literally gave everything for you so you can do what you want to today and do as you please. Um, that's a lot to be said. So for those, uh, the family members that have lost loved ones overseas, um, I want to say thank you. Thank you very much for your sacrifice that you've given for me, for my family, and this country. Um, I cannot do enough to repay or to show you the the thanks and the gratitude I have for the sacrifice that you had to endure and give to to us. So um, we'll just take a moment of silence and just remember those that gave everything. Okay, um, back on. So, happy Memorial Day. Also, keep in mind, um, please keep in prayer those that are overseas. Uh, Memorial Day is to remind those, the veterans, or to remind those that have passed away, you know, of course. Uh, miss, but I still like to thank those that are still overseas and still fighting for us. So, just keep them in, in your prayers and just please be thankful for what you have today. So um, I'm thankful for Freedom Ordnance. We've got their carbines, 9mm AR, or as other people call it, it's an AR-9, yes. It's not an AR-15, they make an AR-10, um, AR-9. So for those of you that are lost, they're like, what, what, A, Z, B, 5, 6, what? Yes, AR-9. And AR-9, and no, AR does not stand, I'm getting tired of this. AR is an assault rifle, no. Does not stand for an assault rifle. It's Armalite, the company that started the whole spiel with everything. But um, they call it an AR9 because it's a nine millimeter. It takes this takes standard Glock magazines, 33 round Glock magazine. Um, it's awesome. I've been shooting it. I love it. Uh, it's very very. I tell you what, other than a 22 to shoot for fun for plinking. Next step up. You want them to bump up to another fun plinker? Right here it is. The AR-9. This one's by Freedom Ordnance. It's called the FX-9. I'm going to put a, the link in the description below. So you can check out a little bit more about the specs on this. I've got a Vortex uh, Strike Fire 2 on it. Which I've put on most of my other stuff as well. Why? Because I love it. Um, as you can probably hear, it's rainy here. So, um, my buddy Tater, he's over here on the side. I think he's a little bit camera shy, but uh, we were going to plan to do a little bit of shooting today. We're still going to try to, so um, I'm going to see if maybe we can prolong this out and get a couple shots off with this thing. But uh, the FX9, MSRP on this thing is around $799. I might as well say $800, bucks, depending where you're at. Where, what state, what area you live in, it may vary. It might be six, seven hundred dollars somewhere around there. Um, like I said, the Glock, the magazine it comes with, thirty-three round mag, capacity mag, take standard Glock magazines. Um, it's got a also six position stock on it. It, man, it, it like I said, it's comfortable. If you're used to shooting the AR and you just want something a little bit cheaper and funner to shoot. Perfect setup. It's got a 13 inch uh, free floating M lock rail. The barrel is threaded half by 28, so that way you can still do your suppressors on it and everything. Um, the upper and lower set is actually an inch shorter than your standard AR 15. Um, other than that, your control, your safety mechanism, charger handle, mag release, everything's just about identical to the AR 15, so there's no really getting used to shooting a different style carbine, you know, it's just basically, instead of an AR-15, it's an AR-9. 
you go from a 223 to a 9 millimeter. Extremely fun to shoot. And the, it's actually decent in weight. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to set it down here. Let me grab the camera real quick. We'll get y'all guys a closer look. And of course, as you can see, I'm up under my shed. There's my Jeep. Jeep power. Yeah. Taters. See, I told you. Taters out there hiding out. So uh, we got right there. This is your Glock magazine. 33 rounds. Freedom Ordnance. Like I said, I will put a link in the description below. So that way y'all can see. It's a extremely fun plinker. And so you can see the difference between an actual, um, I guess you can say a pistol or an S in this case an SBR. Um, Tater was actually a nice enough to bring his. And so that way, here it is, FX9. Compare the difference between the carbine and the SBR. Now there's a full length carbine. And there's your SBR. 9mm as well. There's a difference. Now of course, for those who know, you know the longer the barrel, of course you can be a little bit more accurate with it. Because the bullet has more time inside the barrel to travel to get more of a rotation. So it can be a little bit more accurate. So yes, I've been I mean, at 100 yards, I've been easily tinging, even at 135 yards. Thank you, Tater. So, um, I've actually been tinging, uh, I believe, 8-inch steel targets at 135 yards with this one. No issue. It's been awesome. Take a look at Tater real quick. That's pretty, too. Got the same results as accuracy on that one. Do what now, Tater? Accuracy wise, eight inch plates at about a hundred yards isn't a problem. All right, there you go, Bo. There you go. Yeah, we'll put it to the test. And an eight inch barrel. We'll put it to the test. Well, as y'all can see, the it's raining. So beautiful, beautiful gun. Been shooting it. Awesome. The Vortex Strike Fire Two. So. this back on here but um yeah we're it's coming down um, we might just try to pop off some under the shed here it'll be a little bit louder than normal because it's gonna echo so um yeah we'll see what we can do all right guys we got the fx9 again we're here at the range eyes and ears um i'm always about safety got to be safe you want to keep on having fun so um with that being said let's sling some lead <laughs> see what i've done there so it all operates same way as ar charging handle mag release Everything. I don't know if you can hear or not. I'm pretty sure you can. The rain, it is coming down. Like literally. I'm glad Tater was here to help me out. Cause I was able to get 
some good shots uh, for the camera angle, for the gun, for the review. The second I got done, done just doing the last angle for the, sh for the review, I told Tanner, hey, we're good. That's it. Bottom fell out, as you can hear. The gun is awesome. Uh, Freedom Ordnance done a great job on this one. I have nothing really bad to say about it other than it's a lot of fun. I'm going to go through a lot of ammo just playing with this one. So, um, guys, if you got any comments or questions, something that I missed about this uh, AR-9, comment below, let me know, and if there's something else you want to find out about it, I'll do my best to get you the information that you're looking for. So guys, until next time, this is the Gun Nut, which is done a review on the AR-9 by Freedom Ordnance that is called the FX-9. There'll be a, a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Check out the website, it's awesome. Uh, I want to thank Georgia Gun Store, Mike, Kelly, and Chris. You guys rock. You guys always, always pull through for me. Y'all check them out. I'm going to put a link to their website in the description below as well. So y'all check them out. Mike, Kelly, and Chris, Georgia Gun Store in Gainesville, Georgia. Guys, this is Gun Nuts. Until next time, we'll see what you shoot up. I'm out.